Hey guys, today we'll be installing a IKEA Hemnes bathroom vanity. This is what it looks like. The drawers with the organizer. Soft closing drawers. This is the bottom drawer here. Lots of room and they fully come out. They're not hidden or anything. There's no cutout for a pipe. So there's two main issues when you're installing the IKEA vanity in North America. The first one is mounting it to the wall and the second one is the plumbing. So in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about mounting it to the wall. Uh, now like if you're doing a new construction or if you totally gutted your bathroom you can put the studs to line up with the IKEA mounts. However if you're not gutting your bathroom and you have to work with studs already behind the wall uh, this is a solution that I came up with. So I managed down here I managed to flip the brackets, we'll just do a 180. Normally this is the back of the bracket and it's mounted the other way and this is flush with the wall, but I flipped the brackets and in that way uh, a 2x4 or a 2x2 is able to fit between here and the wall. And so over here, these are two 2x2s two mounted to the wall and I basically mounted them to the studs and then that way the vanity can be mounted to that. I usually like to use painter's tape to mark where my studs are just so I can get a visual and the vanity itself will be lined up with the light here up above. So I started with the light and then I came all the way down, figured out where the center of the vanity is and then just marked it like that on the brace. Okay, let's put the vanity on the wall. Now I've already cut these pieces and done some work with them just to make it fit and make the video shorter. So it will seem like I'm not already way ahead. Uh, an important step here is that uh, you're going to want to make sure that the, the vanity is butt up against the wall. A lot of times when you're installing it, the bottom tends to slide out from underneath it. So you're going to want to brace it up and make sure it's butt up against the wall on both sides. And for the, for the bottom brackets, uh, they were too close to the top, so I actually had to move them down further into vanity. And this is what the screw looks like. And I had to re-drill the hole. So you just want to put a piece of tape on your drill bit here, just to make sure that you don't go th all the way through the uh, wood. So that's kind of the depth that I went. And then that's the screw beside it, because if you don't have a marker, you might end up going all the way through the vanity. And this was just so I could move the two brackets. Okay, let's mount it to the wall now. So that's what the vanity looks like with the two pieces of wood strapped to the studs behind the wall. And I'm just going to put the first washer on. I'm just going to screw it in. First one. That's the second one. Now these mounting brackets usually are ribbed and they have uh, lines on there that the washers normally get caught on. But when I flipped it 180, I don't think it catches on it, but that's totally fine. Final washer. Okay, and that's the vanity mounted to the wall. Okay, so for step two now, the plumbing. Uh, IKEA sends their P trap and other plumbing uh, to use with this kit, but most of it isn't really, or some of it isn't really compatible with North American plumbing. Like where the standard is one and a half inch ABS. So I actually like to dissect the kit and use as much ABS pipe as possible and using very little of their pipe. Okay, so over here, uh, the pipe that we have coming out of the wall is actually a metal pipe. Uh, usually, sometimes it can be ABS. And what I like to do is to cut it right down to the wall with maybe an inch sticking out. 
Sometimes the pipe is coming out over here. Sometimes you have the pipe in the center. Sometimes the pipe's over here. Uh, so it's never going to be the same, uh, the same rule for every installation. Uh, unfortunately, this is metal, so I don't want to cut this. So what I found is this uh, 90 degree rubber flexible pipe. I actually bought two of them. Here's the other one. And, and my recommendation is if you're going to the big box stores, just get as many elbows and pieces as possible. Don't, because you'll be making multiple trips. Just grab like, if you want one of these, just grab two instead. If you want one of these, just grab two. You can never have too many pieces and you can always return whatever is left over. So I'll be using this uh, for, for this installation. Uh, I've already mocked up the pieces and I have them cut. That will help the video go a little bit faster. Okay, let's install this one. So this just slips right on. That's going to go like that. And uh, for the P-trap, I always like to use a P-trap for the clean out. And this is in case you drop any sort of earrings or jewelry or just anything in general down in the sink, you can always clean it out. Or if you have a clog or something, you can clean it out. And I like this one because it screws here and you can always adjust it whichever way and then screw it back to tighten it. So I'll be using this P-trap. Okay. And now with that installed, I'll be doing a 45 degree in here. And that just slips in and then it tightens with the clamp. Actually, let me just take this back out so I can glue it. I don't want to go out there and spill anything on the floor. So this will be the first piece that we're gluing. If you can, try to wear a mask or something with this. A little bit of glue on the inside. A little bit of glue on the outside. And then just twist it. And I'm just going to do the P trap at the same time here. Because I've already test fitted my pieces. It's really important to test fit your pieces before you start gluing anything. You want to do a dry fit, make sure everything fits, and then you start gluing. Because once this glue dries, it's not coming off. So now I'm just going to bring my setup here. And that's kind of the setup that I'm going with. Uh, like I said, every situation is going to be a little bit different. If the pipe was coming out over here, I would probably put it on the P-trap here. But this is kind of what I had to do. I had to do a 90 down into the P-trap. And then now I'm going to have the, uh, the, the water drain down right into there. So I found this piece here uh, at one of the big box stores, and I really like this. I've used this for all my installations. Uh, and what it is, it's uh, one and a half inch to a one and a quarter inch, I believe. And when you tighten this, it tightens around the pipe that goes in here. And this works perfectly for the IKEA pipes where the, where the water drain dumps right in like this. And then you can tighten that. And then you have your one and a half ABS coming down like that. This works perfect and I really like this one. So I'm just going to glue another piece of pipe here. I'm just going to glue this one a little bit more because I'm not gluing the inside of the other part. And I'm just going to set it in here. There we go, and then this part here, I'm just going to glue on the inside. So that's it. All the pipes are glued, and I'll just need to tighten these clamps right now, they're loose. So I can kind of play with it a little bit. 
And actually, I'm just going to put the bottom drawer in just to see how that lines up. So with the drawers, there's two holes at the back right here where my fingers are, and they just slide into the metal rail here. And once they drop in, you can push the drawer in. And let's see how the drawer clears the pipe. So that's fine for now. It clears the pipe. Uh, once I put the actual vanity top on, this will push back the pipe a little bit. And once I tighten the hose clamps, it will, it will be fine. So that's it. The drawer is fully closed. It's not, it touches the pipe a little bit, but it's, it's fine. And another thing I forgot to mention is the screws that you want to use for these braces here. Make sure they're at least three inches long because this is an inch and a half and then drywall is in another half inch and then you want at least an inch inside the stud so three inches works perfect for that okay let's go uh, assemble the vanity top okay so now we're going to install the overflow drain and the faucet in here so they give you this little tool with a little rubber cap on the end to sort of grip the overflow this is the overflow drain here so what you're going to want to do is put it in here there's no gasket on the back uh, some people like to put a little bit of silicone on there. Uh, I don't want to silicone it right now just because if I do want to take it off, it will come off easier this way. This is the back of the overflow drain. There's a little white gasket. It goes off like that. And what you do is you just reach around like this, put it in, and then you just screw it. And for now, we're just going to hand tighten this and I'm turning it like that. Okay, so that's good. That's just hand tightened. We'll tighten it up later when we test it. For the faucet, uh, you have these long uh, sort of screws. On one end, there's a Phillips. It's hard to see. Uh, on the other end, there's nothing. So the side with nothing, we're just going to screw it into the bottom of the faucet like this. And then we just tighten the Phillips a little bit, just snug. And the faucet already has this little rubber O-ring that goes around. Uh, to seal it so you don't have to silicone it actually i wouldn't recommend silicone it because it might just cause a mess and then once i put this in uh, i'm going to go from underneath and install the rubber gasket and then the metal gasket and then i'm going to screw it in with these two screws so the rubber one is to protect the metal from this uh, porcelain or whatever this is so it doesn't crack okay so let's feed this through fed through and then I'm going to put on the rubber one you won't be able to see this right now but I'll put on the rubber one and then the metal one my two uh, nuts here. Screw that one on just hand tight. Grab the second one here. Hand tighten that one. And then they provide you with this tool here just to sort of hand tighten the, uh, the bolts here. And you just want to tighten them by hand just for now. And once we finally install the top of the vanity then we can tighten everything down a bit more. And that's it for the vanity top. Okay, now we're just going to silicone the top of the vanity and then place the, the top on the, the porcelain piece. Uh, it doesn't get screwed on and it doesn't have like any sort of ridges that it falls into. The top just sits on here. So I like to do a bead of 100% uh, silicone and, uh, and then put it on. Okay, so I have it cut uh, for about a quarter inch. I'm just going to do a little dull there. And then just do about a quarter inch all the way around. And I like to use clear instead of white. So I like to do a little dollop here. 
And then I continue going around. Another little sort of circle here. And then All right, let's set this down. Here's the vanity top that we put together earlier. And now we'll just set it on top. I like to do this by myself for smaller ones because then I can feel where it's centered. I can feel both sides at the same time. I think if Two people were doing this, you wouldn't be able to tell how much overhang is on each side. And the weight of the vanity will just sort of hold it in place. You just want to make sure that the gaps are even on both sides, if there are any gaps. And then this will dry in about 30 minutes. All right, I am going to uh, put on the drain now, actually. So some people like to put a little bit of silicone on the drain here. I don't like to do it because again, if I take this off next year, I always want it to come off easier. So I'm just going to put this under like so. And then from above, I'm just going to screw in my, uh, whatever this thing here is called. You just do a hand tighten it. And again, you use the a tool that they gave you, you're going to use this end this time. And just sort of hand tighten that in. And then I'm just going to try and get it into the drain that I created earlier. Extend that a little bit over to here, and then from above, just tighten it up like this. And then we'll test this by filling up the vanity and everything and test the overflow, which I haven't installed yet. And then now we can just tighten this pipe up. And there you go. Obviously, now you want to connect your, your hot and your cold. And then we'll turn the water on and test, ensure that there's no leaks. Okay. So this is it finally installed. I have the overflow pipe that I didn't show how to install, but that's pretty self-explanatory. The P-traps there, just like we did, that's sealed here. I didn't put any silicone there because I don't like silicone on there. And then now I took the you take the aerator out with this same tool here. You take the aerator out and just let water run for about five minutes or so. And what you want is you want water to go in the overflow just to ensure that nothing's leaking. And right now we have no leaks. That's just the water running down the overflow that you're hearing going down here and into the P-trap. So that's it.